Now let's do something even more interesting, demonstrating more power of the Neo4j graph database and the Cypher query language. Here we're going to solve particular equations or problems related to relationships. I'm sure we've all played the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon game, so here we're going to play the Four Degrees of Kevin Bacon game. Let's take a look and analyze this query. Let's parse it to see what it's telling us. First thing we notice is, is that we're getting a handle on a person node with the name Kevin Bacon and storing that handle in the word Bacon. Then we're saying with the asterisk, get any relationship type. I don't care what it is. It can be acted in, it can be reviewed, it can be directed, I don't care. But do that up to a depth of four. And then associate that with another node on the other end, and we're just going to create a handle for that node. See, at this point, we don't know what that node type is. We don't know what that node value is. We don't know anything about that node. We can specify a type if we're just interested in movies, but we're not. We're actually interested in what are these relationships one to four steps away. But we also don't want duplicates. Therefore, I'm going to use the site for query language keyword distinct and specify that I want to return distinct Hollywood. Let's go ahead and run this query and see the kind of information we get. Now you notice this query took a few extra seconds to run and the reason is is that it does return a lot of information relatively speaking. Let's look at the resulting graph in a full screen mode. You can see that there is actually a lot of information being displayed here. Let's look at this in tabular mode and you can see, you can see that it took 2.8 almost 3 seconds to run this graph. However, it returned 135 rows of data, and I'm scrolling very quickly to show that the data spans movies, actors, and I'm sure reviewers and so on. I'm going to return to normal view. I'm going to return to graphical view. Now one of the things that I did that was interesting is, is that I said return distinct Hollywood, but in this case I don't really want to return distinct. Let's go ahead and run this query and see what happens when I don't return distinct. You'll notice that I get the same basic result. It took a little bit longer, but it also returned more data. It returned almost, it returned more than double the number of rows, because again, there are relationships that will loop back on themselves. So this is a much more complicated graph. Here you can see the value in, in using the distinct keyword. I'm going to remove these content results and let's look at our last query. There's another function built into Cypher query language called shortest path. And what I can do is I can use the match keyword to match P, but set P equal to a function call for shortest graph. Now here I'm returning basically, I'm doing a similar query, but I want to know the shortest distance between Meg Ryan and Kevin Bacon. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see. Interestingly enough, I do get a graph, but I also can look at this tabularly. I have to calculate the shortest path discrete value, but I get the vector here. So Kevin Bacon was in Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks, who was in Joe versus the Volcano with Meg Ryan. Now this is not the only path, this is simply the shortest path. If I choose to, then I can get rid of the shortest path call and I can return bacon and Meg. And I can run this query and see what this query gives me as well. Now you'll notice that this query is going to take significantly longer because it's going to scan pretty much the entire database. It's looking for all the relationships. Here you can see that the value in showing this is not really great. In showing this information is not great. What I would do instead is I would put that I want to see I want to see a relationship in the middle where there's a movie or something between them. So I'm doing this to demonstrate that this query can take a significant amount of time and that you don't want to return basically something that recursively crawls your entire graph. So I'm going to get rid of that.